People, do you want to learn a thing or two? Well, do ya? Good. Because it's time for Clint's Culture Club. I said get him out of here. Okay, there's something I need to know. Do you like champagne? Well, do ya? Good. Because today I'm going to show you how to select that correct bottle for your lady. First of all, you're going to need a lady. And I want you to meet mine. Her name is Eunice. You like that name, don't you? Oh, Joan, I hope this isn't going to take a long time. I don't feel that well, really, I don't. And I'm not in the mood for champagne. The mood doesn't feel quite right. Nag, nag, nag. Listen, I paid good money for this champagne, and you're going to help me drink it. And you're going to like it, okay? Whatever you say, John. And stop calling me John. It's Clint. Okay, getting back to the champagne. Make sure it's French. They make the best stuff. Behold, a bottle of Turpontine. You better duck your head, pretty lady, while I pop the cork. Oh, oh that hurt. Really, it did, John. I mean, Clint. Oh, you hit me right in the eye with the cork. I'm going to have a terrible bruise in the morning. Really, I am. Nag, nag, nag. It's just a flesh wound. Here. Take a sip of this champagne. You'll feel better. <coughs> this is awful, really it is. Let me see that bottle. What kind of champagne did you say it was? I already told you. Turpontine. Oh, that's not Turpontine. That's serpentine. <laughs> I think I'm dying. <laughs> well, I never said I could read French. And that's it for Clint's Culture Club. I hope I made your day. Hi, people. Do you want to learn a thing or two? Well, do ya? Good. Because it's time for Clint's Culture Club. I said get him out of here. It's a nice day in the neighborhood, so would you be mine? I said it's a nice day in the neighborhood, so would you be mine? Now, if you were expecting Mr. Rogers, forget it. He had a slight accident, so I'm taking his place. You don't mind, do you? Good. Now for today's lesson. Can you say nuclear first strike? Sure you can. Now, I want you to remember that word because we're going to need it in a few minutes. The second word. Can you say Sidewinder 2? Sure you can. Go ahead. Say it. Now, here we have a Sidewinder 2, the most powerful anti-ballistic missile in the world, and it could blow an island clean off the map. Now, can you say Cuba? Sure you can. We're going to call them and see if they feel lucky. there, Fidel. This is Clint. Do you feel lucky? See, si, sure. I feel lucky all the time. Oh, yeah? Well, maybe what you need is a radioactive rabbit's foot. <laughs> and that's the lesson when it comes to nuclear first strike. No one is ever lucky. Now, if you're good, next time we'll learn about small arms fire and how lucky that is. That's it for Clint's Culture Club. I hope I made your day. Hi, people. Do you want to learn a thing or two? Well, do ya? Good. Because it's time for Clint's Culture Club. I said get him out of here. It's a nice day in the neighborhood, so would you be mine? I said it's a nice day in the neighborhood, so would you be mine? Now, if you were expecting Mr. Rogers, forget it. He had a slight accident. So I'm taking its place. You don't mind, do you? Good. Now for today's lesson. Can you say nuclear first strike? Sure you can. Now I want you to remember that word because we're going to need it in a few minutes. The second word. Can you say Sidewinder 2? Sure you can. Go ahead. Say it. Now here we have a Sidewinder 2. The most powerful anti-ballistic missile in the world. And it could blow an island clean off the map. Now can you say Cuba? Sure you can. We're going to call him. And see if they feel lucky. Uh, hello? Hi there, Fidel. This is Clint. Do you feel lucky? See, si, sure. I feel lucky all the time. Oh, yeah? Well, maybe what you need is a radioactive rabbit's foot. <laughs> and that's the lesson when it comes to nuclear first strike. No one is ever lucky. Now, if you're good, next time we'll learn about small arms fire and how lucky that is. That's it for Clint's Culture Club. I hope I made your day. 96.